All right, so we've got a very interesting update from the official Dragon Ball Super Broly news website, or the Dragon Ball news website here, from the voice actor of Lemo, Tomokazu Sugita, and he's got some pretty interesting tidbits about this film and a clue about the finale of the movie, which I'm going to get to shortly. Okay, I'm going to get to that shortly. There's going to be a spoiler warning later in this video for a discussion I'm going to have with you guys here, but... Just to kind of go through some of this interview here, first of all, thanks to Jake for translating this for us, Herms. Um, you know, want to thank him for that as always. But essentially, this guy's a Dragon Ball fanboy. He talks about how much he wants Cell to be in the next movie because he loves Cell. And I just want to say that he's saying he wants Cell to be in the movie because he's a fan of Cell. Please do not believe anybody who's a clickbaiter or a BSer who's going to tell you that Cell's going to have his own movie because that's not confirmed. I know a lot of people are hoping that Cell comes back. I've seen a lot of y'all say that, but the reality is he is a fan just like we are, and he says he wants Cell to come back, but he has no authority. He's just a voice actor. Um, Cell's probably not coming back, but then again... Who would have thought that Broly would ever come back? So anything is possible in the modern era of Dragon Ball. The majority of this interview, he talks about how he got into Dragon Ball in elementary school with the manga, so he didn't know anything about the uh, the movie character. So he's playing the Dragon Ball card-ass game, the one that eventually would become heroes, and he didn't know who the strong Namekians were from that game, you know, because they have exclusive characters. He didn't even know who Broly was while playing Buddha Butoden 2, which is kind of reminiscent of what happened here in this country. You know, when Funimation put out the Dragon Ball Z uh, TV series, they put out the movies late, if you remember. Those of you who were around back then, you remember what I'm talking about. Because remember, movies like Lord Slug and Cooler's Revenge, those movies came out when we were deep into the Android saga. So... You know, it became one of those things where if you didn't know when those movies came out, as a kid, you're like, wait a minute, why is Goku Super Saiyan looking all weird in this uh, Lord Slug movie? Why is he not, like, mastering, or, you know, not mastering, but doing the full actual Super Saiyan? Why is it this fake form? You know, things like that that we didn't know as kids. Um, I knew it because I had the fan subs, but a lot of people who I knew didn't know. So he's kind of going through something similar, you know, with that. He talks about how um, he didn't think much of Broly as a kid, but in this movie, he's playing uh, he's playing Lemo, and he talks about how Broly's irregular power uh, gives, like, Lemo's perspective on Broly is that it gives him a unique perspective from a character who's not strong, but he has unique talents, and that's why he survives. So this character of Lemo is a survivor. He's a scavenger, even though he's not very powerful. He talks about how uh, an aspect of his character is applicable to modern society. Um, he says that dads who are watching this movie, if you have kids, are going to be able to relate to Lemo more while the kids will relate to Shele. So I wonder if they're going to have like a father-daughter type of relationship. They're obviously not related, but it could be that big brother-little-sister kind of dichotomy, which I think would make sense for the film. He talks about how um, he thinks deeply about his role. And he says that Nagamino would always, Nagamine, excuse me, the director would ask him, what's Lemo feeling right now when recording just for a single line? So that's kind of cool that they're giving him that kind of direction for him to really think things out. Uh, and actually, he got the role from after showing off several different performance styles in that direction. So that's kind of interesting that he had to kind of show off his ver versatility here. Uh, and he talks about how when he watched the series again as an adult, when he watched Dragon Ball as an adult and read the manga again, he realizes that Frieza kind of runs his organization pretty decently. He's not really a bad boss, uh, which I kind of disagree with him on because Frieza was killing his own men ruthlessly over and over again in Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I guess there is a good side to what he's done, but I don't think... It's that good, but he does talk about how Cell is kind of a punk who represents irrational violence, forcibly absorbing people into himself. Maybe one day I'll do a discussion about who's more evil, Frieza and Cell. Even though I think Frieza might be more evil, you could make an argument for Cell because Cell, Cell was a prick and he was all ego driven and you know he was uh, very narcissistic. Uh, he talks about, again, he talks about Cell and how Cell looked cool in Super Butoden. And he, he wants to know what would happen if Cell faced off against Broly, which has been a debate in our fandom on the Western side for many, 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 many years. You know, who's stronger, Cell or Broly? I mean, that's been discussed since the 90s. Um, now, uh, Herms translates that next week. It's going to be a big, important interview, so that's going to be interesting. Now, we're going to get into what he says about the final scene of the movie, okay? We're going to get into the final scene of the film. 
possible spoilers coming, okay? You've been warned, all right? Click off if you don't want the spoiler, even though it's really not a spoiler. Well, part of it is, okay? He says in this interview that at the end of this, the final scene of the movie is really something, and he says, Goku, finally. Now, that could mean a number of different things, okay? I have gone on record several times on my videos and on my live streams that I believe, again, we're going into spoiler territory, that they are indeed going to create Gogeta, and that Gogeta will come close to beating Broly, but defuse. Very similar to what they've done with other characters like Vegito and, you know, Gogeta and GT. He will, um, this is my prediction, he will almost beat Broly, defuse, and then Goku will have to do Ultra Instinct, and that's the finale of the movie. That is my prediction on that, okay? That being said, um, there are still people out there, I've seen it, who are still questioning Gogeta being in this movie, those who are following spoilers, and I have said several times I've had two independent sources, one very close to the character, read between the lines here, talk about Gogeta being in, okay? You know people who have been on my channel, you should know by now that I'm not going to BS you, okay? That being said, well, let me rephrase what I'm saying. Gogeta is definitely in DLC Pack 8, so and he's with Broly, so again, it's... At this point, denying it, you're just being delusional or being a, being a contrarian. It's going to happen. But I, I don't necessarily know if Gogeta is going to beat Broly. He might be in it. He might not get the win. It could be Ultra Instinct Goku uh, tapping into that form one more time like he did with Jiren to beat Broly. However, I'm going to play uh, another idea. He says last scene of the movie, not necessarily the final battle. Because the last scene is usually after the final battle when they're at home resting or having dinner you know goku's eating whatever could it be that in the final scene of dragon ball super broly we see goku wearing putting on for the first time in the modern dragon ball era the blue gi that he wore when he first met oob at the end of the dragon ball manga and at the end of dragon ball z could that be the ending of this movie i think it's very possible very plausible that it could be that Again, I'm just speculating. I don't know. The only thing he comments on here is Goku finally. So is it Goku getting Ultra Instinct and beating Broly? Or is it him getting that blue gi? Either one I think would be cool. Uh, some people are straight up saying they don't think Ultra Instinct is in the movie. And I'm telling you that's very, very likely it is. Mostly because they introduced the form for a reason. They got to get it over. So I do think that it is. But I could be wrong. I mean, maybe it's not. I'm not going to... Go 100% on that. Gogeta is a certainty at this point, but Ultra Instinct is still up in the air. We'll find out in just about, what, three, four weeks? We're going to know for sure. But that's it. That is it for this video. Um, any thoughts you might have, leave them in the comments. But I do believe that it's one of those two things. And if you have any ideas, definitely let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all real soon.